What's up, YouTube? Castle back here. I know it's been a really long time, actually. It's been two years, I think. Uh, or a year, I don't remember. Um, been a lot going on, actually. I started a job at a new company, uh, Black Hawk Transport, out of Poland, Wisconsin.
3,000 trucks and you have 15 drivers in one location, and you're trying to find a load and like, oh, sorry, we only had 12 loads from that place for today. It looks like you guys are shutting down for the night. I'm like, oh, great, thanks. I'm glad you gave me a raise and then you cut my miles. So, I mean, with this, people are always moving cross country. There's, I don't know how many actual pods units there are in production right now, but there's a lot. I mean, people are constantly moving. So you're never really gonna run out of work. Uh, and like right now, I'm on a, I'm on a 10 load stop. Uh, you know, I picked up in uh, Minnesota, three, three stops in Minnesota, two stops in Kansas, Missouri, and Kansas combined, and then three more stops in uh, Arizona. So there's a lot of back and forth, back and forth. I think for the most part, this is a West and East Coast company. It's what it seems like. I mean, it might not be that way, but they, they have their hand in quite a few pots. There's a lot of accounts that they have here. Uh, they have dry van, reefer. I don't know if we have a tanker division. I haven't asked about it. Uh, we have a pods division, of course. There's a flatbed roof and tarping uh, account we have here. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of options to pick from. And like I said, the DMs are really the main reason I stuck around. Like, they don't cause a headache. That's the one thing I wanted to stay away from. I'll take a pay cut to not have a headache as a company driver. But like I said, I plan on doing their lease purchase program uh, because of how it seems and uh, how they run it. I know most people kind of steer away from the lease purchase and they would just say, you know what, go buy a truck and do it your own. But if you have no idea how the industry works, like say you've only been in it for two, three years, you really don't know how it works. I mean, you could have a stellar three years and the moment you buy a truck, you know, you buy a used truck, you know, 500,000 miles on it, right now the market on it is up. So you're spending $120,000 on a truck that you don't know is gonna last you a full year or if it's gonna break down, you know, a week after you pull it off the lot. And I'd rather go with a company that I can guarantee they have a maintenance account, if you break down, something happens, they'll work with you. I mean, if you buy a truck on your own and you try and start up an LLC or a freight company or something like that, and you just get hung up, that's it. You're just stuck. You, you don't have any way to monetarily cover what you just did because you thought it was a better idea to try and do it on your own. I don't think you should buy your own truck. Personally, unless you buy that truck and you have at least like 10 $15,000 in your bank after you've purchased the truck. Because that's a kind of a, a cushion for you to fall on in case something happens. You know, like anything can happen when you're on the road. And it is at that point completely on you to fix that truck, get it up and running, and get the money coming back in. Granted, if you do it on your own, there's a lot more money to be made. But again, it's a, it's a risk reward system. Obviously, if you risk more, the rewards are more, which is why most people stay a company driver. They're not really risking anything. And you're making a solid paycheck every week. Uh, but even with the lease, you're risking uh, your pay to make slightly higher pay. And then if you buy a truck, you're risking a lot more with a lot more pay. So it, it, that's, that's exactly how it works. I don't think... I don't think every company has a really good lease program, which is why I feel like a lot of people do it. Like the company I started with, it's a strictly teaming company. So you have to lease the truck and pay your partner. So you're making double the miles, but you're also paying this guy. You're paying for your truck, you're paying for your insurance, you're paying for your tags. Everything that comes along with expenses, fuel, you're paying for all of that yourself and this guy which means that you now have to kind of look at your friend who you trusted to be on this truck with you who isn't just going to bail out on you because he doesn't like what he's getting paid you have to give him kind of an incentive to want to stay on that truck you can't pay him you know a normal company pay and expect him to stay on the truck and pay his own taxes and pay his own um, health insurance and pay his own uh, 
you know, everything that comes along with being a 1099 driver. You can't expect that guy to stay on here if you're not going to compensate him. But the company also is compensating you really enough to cover everything, keep the truck moving, pay this guy, pay yourself, pay a maintenance fee, pay for the fuel, pay for the insurance. So I, I would never advise leasing onto a company that you have to have a partner that's just crazy to me. Um, but, like this company, I'm solo. I started solo. So everything that goes on with that truck is on me. It's all my sole responsibility. If I screw up, that's my screw up. <coughs> um, but yeah. Like I said, I work for Blackhawk Transport. They work right out of Beloit, Wisconsin. I think to get hired on, you need at least one year of experience. That's how you know at least the drivers are decent here. I'm not going to say everybody's perfect, everybody's stellar. Uh, but, you know, you need at least some sort of experience going into this company. You can't just walk on straight out of school. Because there's a lot of high-value uh, clients that this company has. They don't want just everybody driving around, banging up the trailers, breaking their merchandise. You know, dropping containers, because I've seen it happen. People off the lot without even strapping and the container will just roll right off. I mean I've seen it before literally in person and they, they don't like they don't like inexperienced people coming here and you know jacking up their rates essentially uh, which I understand I can't I can't fault them for that obviously Guys, take it easy. Be safe.